Hello everybody, this is Sheldon from Sherlock Art. Welcome to my channel. I'm showing you this piece here because I attempted a Dutch pour and although um, it grew out well, here's a few things I learned. So when I blew it out, all this lacing in here was wider and this was smaller. And so it wasn't the colors hadn't quite spread out so far and it stretched to the point that you see these little white areas here that's the paint that had broken up right in there the little cracks in here where the paint didn't stretch out too well so what i'm going to do is i'm going to do it again i made the paints not only too thin but like um how resin kind of self levels um, if you put too much um, paint on the surface, it will continue to try to self-level and it will continue to run off this side, this side, no matter how level it is, the canvas is, if you have like a mound of paint here, it's going to still try to flatten out. So the more it flattens out because it's thin, it's going to run off the sides and these people's pieces are going to get bigger and bigger and stretch to where... It just looks a mess. So you definitely gotta make sure that when you're doing these Dutch pours, you can't have a whole lot of paint on your canvas um, as far as the thickness goes. So we're gonna try this again, and hopefully I can get this one the way I like it. So here we go. Um, let me grab Handy Dandy. Uh, he's close by. Yes. We call him Handy Dandy because he's handy and he's, what honey? Dandy. Dandy, that's right. Handy and he's dandy. Okay, so I'm using Amsterdam uh, Standard Series um, for my base. And Amsterdam paint is a good paint to use for your base because you want your base to stay on the bottom. You don't want it to rise up like um, artist loft white wood and start to make pearls. So Amsterdam paint is a great paint to use as your ba paint, base paint for your Dutch pores. Um, before I get started with this, let me go over my colors with you. I have, um, this is Liquitex Pale Green. This is um, Pearl Turquoise and Liquitex Turquoise, Blue Turquoise Blue together in here. The Pearl Turquoise is Arteza. This gives it a little bit of shimmer. This is Dioxazine Purple mixed with um, African Violet Prism Pour from Color Art here. This is Connectodome um, Magenta mixed with Poinsettia um, Prism Pour here. And the Connectodome Magenta is um, Liquitex. And this is Deco Art um, 24 Karat Gold Extreme Sheen. So this is gonna help me get my cells. Okay, so I'm not putting an order in that order, but those are the colors. So let's get started with um, spreading this out. I don't have one of those uh, spreaders like Canelo Sirocco has, but I think Handy Dandy would do just fine. Just gonna kinda go across and just make, spread it out. I really don't want a thick amount of paint on the surface. I want it just to be covered, just to be coated. You have a little bit of a thickness to help the paint move, but really on, on such a thin surface, which I like, the paint's not going to move but so far. So you need to do the other part 
of the Dutch pour is by giving it a rim of paint right around your color puddles. So we're gonna do that too. So this is just the first initial coat. And again, this is perspectives and pouring. So I just wanted to use that as sort of a teaching opportunity because not everybody know it, you know, clearly I didn't know it. And I wish I would have known it as far as the consistency and the thickness of the layers go. I wouldn't have wasted any paint on that first one. And that was a very pretty piece. I will, um, I guess during this video, I will actually um, show a picture of how it looked when it was wet and how I wanted it to stay. But because it spread out so much, uh, it didn't stay the way I wanted it to. So hopefully I, hopefully I learned the lesson on this one and I'll show you the dry results of this one sometime in the future. But yeah. So I also make sure this is nice and covered. want to make it as thin as a pearl pour but this is definitely pretty thin paint I think when I made it as thin as the pearl pour I think it was a little bit too thin but I think this is good put handy dandy down let me see if I can spin off a little bit okay Stop, 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 stop. Ooh, look at that timing. Okay, so I did spin off some of it. So now let's layer the colors. I'm gonna torch it a second, get the bubbles out. And I did shake it up and I mixed it. I'm gonna mix it inside of this container because I figured that, hey, if I had a little bit left in here, I could actually mix it up in here as opposed to trying to scrape it into another container. All right, so that's torched. Um, make sure that my blow dry comes on and it didn't. And now it is, okay. So let me have you ready to go. All right, so I think I'm gonna go um, with the gold in the middle. So I'm gonna go green, blue, gold, magenta, then purple, okay? So I think I'm gonna go just kind of a slight half like that. I don't want to take it all the way to the end because I want to blow some this way and blow some this way and then blow some this way. All right. So. And then blue. I like that blue. Definitely the gold. And this gold is what I call my cell maker. Then some of the magenta. And I think I want the blue to be dominant. So that's why I put so much blue there. I want the, I want the blue to be a little bit more dominant than the magenta and the purple. And the blue mixing with the magenta makes some of the purple anyway. So that's the dioxazine purple there. All right. 
Low touch, low touch more of the blue. All right. So now let's go around the rim of this thing and see what we come up with. So I just want to go just around the edge to give it something to float on. Not a lot. Now, let me get my blow dryer. Let's see what I can push in and push out. just like that. I'm gonna go in and do a little blowing, maybe to open up some of these ends here, but I think it's pretty the way it is. So let's do that. See how there's hardly any movement right here? That's exactly what I was looking for. like the way that is looking already. That's a simple blowout. Um, I could bring some lines in here to kind of help it, but I just want to just make sure that it's just a perfect blowout for me. And I think I'm liking the way that looks. Let me blow this out a little bit more if I can. See, it's hardly moving. That's exactly what I was looking for. All right. So I'm going to move this on my drying table and get you in for a closer look. I don't like this little bump right here. We'll push some of those cells out on this edge. See how this is bumped out like a little lump? It looks weird. All right, there you go. Now I even it out. So let me get this on a drying table. And hopefully this will not spread. And I don't think it will because it's um, the paint's thick enough and it's not a whole lot to move. And I will get you down for a closer look. So, Okay, folks. Here's the final wet result. But look at how those colors opened up. Made some cells right there with the gold. And the white Amsterdam paint kind of acted a little bit as a cell activator over the top as it sinks down.
But look at all that shimmery goodness. Made some beautiful cells in here. Has them coming around this part here. The gold, the greens, the blues, the magentas. Look at that white lacing there. And the gold cells that popped up in there. And one thing I like about it so far is that normally with these other ones, you see all these drips all over the, uh, these are the drips from the other paints that kept pulling down. And so far, as I um, put this around, I got very few drips going on. So it's showing me any, it doesn't show any, me any signs that it's going to move anywhere. So I'm gonna keep an eye on it overnight or for the rest of the night. But there's the piece, peoples. I think I love it and I hope you love it too. But for now, thank you for watching and stay tuned for Britta Clayton with Britt Clayton Designs. And she's gonna do something wonderful with some pigments and some, uh, I believe it's some pearls or some boulder cells. But she mixed some pigments up in a wonderful way and it's gonna be gorgeous. So stay tuned for her in that video. But for now, have a great day and happy pouring. Bye-bye. Thank you.